what up everybody welcome back to another video today I'm gonna tell you how to properly throw with your hips in a disc golf backhand throw so yeah let's get right into it so if you've been trying to improve your form and I've been watching form videos on YouTube and clinics and stuff you've probably heard about the hips being the most important part of this disc golf form that is definitely true. Um, in general, what I tend to hear pretty often in these form videos is that once you're in a reach back position, like so, you're supposed to get your belt buckle, so your hips facing the target. So kind of like this, you're in your reach back, probably after your run up, reach back, and then you wanna get your hips facing here so that your disc can go there as well. That is generally speaking true, but there is a wrong way to do this and there is a right way to do this. And today I want to talk about the right way to do it and also kind of the wrong way to do it so, so you guys know what's up. Now before I start I just want to say that this is not something that I came up with entirely myself. My dad has been preaching to me about throwing with the hips for many years at this point and it definitely paid off so my recommendation is take the hip seriously and let's start so I know that guys like Drew Gibson for example talk about getting the belt buckle to the target so as I said reach back getting the hips to face the target and that's where you're gonna throw but what a lot of people tend to do and that is the wrong way, is they're in this reach back position and in order to get their belt buckle to face the target what they do is they start to push their hip into that direction so they kind of push their hip forward and when you do that you're pushing into nothing because your, your left side of the hip doesn't have anywhere to push against so you're not really gaining any power from that you might face the target with your hips but you're not getting any power from that so here's how that's kind of gonna look so this is the wrong way to do it as you can see after the shot I was kind of right here because I didn't really stop so even though your hips are kind of facing the target you're not really benefiting from it at all The right way to throw with the hips is after you hit the ground with your front foot after you run up, so like, like so, you want to bring the right part of your hip back this way. That way you're really going to see a lot of pros do this or most pros do this. When they hit the ground and they turn, they're almost in like a straight leg position. That's not because they actively do this motion right here, it's because they're actively pushing their right hip back. And what's, what that's gonna do is, you're gonna push yourself into the ground like this, and it's gonna push your hip back and it's gonna be super fast. Now the left part of the hip doesn't have to move at all when you do this. You're in your position, and watch my left hip. When I push, it's almost staying in place. So here's how that should look. hit the pole there but you get the point I'll try another one I'm really just trying to hit the ground get my right hip back and that's really that's everything I'm trying to do So now you just saw how to do it the wrong way and the right way. But now I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to check for yourself if you are doing it the right way or the wrong way. And something that I always do is when I throw a shot and I'm working on my hips being right, I try to check where my body goes after I release the disc. 
because if you're just pushing with your left hip and you're doing it wrong, you're probably not stopping and you're probably exiting the throw to the front left because that's where your hip goes. You're from this position and you go here. Whereas if you do it the right way, you should just stop right there. So that's the easy way to check it. Check where you are going after the throw. It's very important. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about some common errors when it comes to hip placement other than this hip pushing. The general rule is, for me at least, and it applies for everybody, when you push into the ground, the ground pushes you back. Pretty simple rule. If you push straight down, you're gonna jump, for example. So a lot of people, when they try to really commit to a shot, they really come from above and they like stump the ground. And that might feel powerful and energetic, but it's not going anywhere. That power is just pushing you back and you're messing up everything. So in order to get the right hip back and get some really nice rotation here, you have to push into the ground almost sideways. So instead of coming from up above, you want to come really from the side and plant the foot nice and horizontally so that the ground can push your hip back for you. Let's see how that looks. I'm really actively trying to go nice and flat here and just push myself back. It doesn't even need a lot of run up. I'm going to do a short one here. That's enough power for 99% of, of the shots on the course. And another pretty common mistake that I see is when people are trying to get their right hip back, they're not really getting it back. They're kind of swaying it out here. And first of all, that's really gonna hurt your hip because that's just not a very natural motion. And second of all, it's not producing any power. So the easy way to fix this is to make sure you're really upright in your swing. So instead of doing something like this, I really wanna be tall, upright, and just have like a good posture during the entirety of my swing. That way I'm gonna make sure that my hips really stay under me. So again, wrong way to do it. Right way to do it. There you go. What's the right way to learn this? Um, in my opinion, you should kind of work your way up and get used to your hips turning the right way. And the easiest way to do that is by just starting off in a standstill position and focusing on nothing but the right hip going back. Make sure you're not doing this. Make sure you stay in one place and just get the right hip back. So something like this. That's the way to do it. Then when you feel comfortable with that, work your way up to a little run up. But again, make sure you're not going anywhere after the shot and getting your right hip back. The left hip is not that important. And when you have that down, you can kind of try some more big distance run ups. So maybe get a little bit further back, throw with a little bit more speed but never go with so much speed that you can't stop because that's just wasted energy. So even if I'm trying a long run up here, like this, I'm still just trying to stop my hip and not go here. And in my opinion, it really pays off. So work on your hips, more distance, more accuracy, more fun on the course. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for Thanks to Disc Golf for you, as always, for making this video possible for you guys. And thanks to Latitude and Moby Disc Golfing as well. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feedback, please feel free to write a comment. And see you next time.